Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. Let's just get myself another sip of coffee. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Um, we're gonna do a first impression, get ready with me, chit chat and short mustache, all in one videos. I've pulled out a few things in front of me and we're gonna test them from primer to everything from the very start. So let's just pull the hair back first and let's have a look. For primer, it's a oldie, but not quite sure if it's still working well for me. The Ravalon Use FX Feel Plus Plur Primer for face and neck. It is a pore minimizing primer to blend over wrinkles to either under makeup or use alone by itself. So it gives one of these sponges like this. So I guess you're supposed to push from the bottom and then you will have product out. Yeah. So I have... Is there anything spread out? So it's like this. I guess I'll just put it on my hand and I'll rub it onto the area where I usually like to minimize my pores. It's usually my T-zones here. I'm using natural lighting today. It's a very, very beautiful day and we just announced another, I don't know, two weeks maybe lockdown. So yeah, lovely day to film, right? You barely get natural lighting days to film because usually you're outside. So that's a bonus for me. I think I just need a little bit more. It's a bit of weird application method, but I mean, the designing of the border is definitely not something I like the most. I remember when I first got this, I was testing it out on my hand wrinkles here. And then I feel like it definitely smoothed it. But when I used a few times, if I remember correctly, I don't think it did anything for me. By the way, the sunscreen I use for today is the Hawaiian Tropic Dual Face Defense. This is a really good moisturizer slash sunscreen so now it's all set i think i can definitely still see my pores um but it feels a lot smoother so i guess it might make the foundation goes a little bit easier if this one doesn't work i'm gonna throw it out of my collection because i've been having this for a while the foundation that i'm using is Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This is a relatively new one here in Australia. Relatively new. I've heard so many good things and apparently they have an intensive range, but here in Australia, we don't have a lot. I bought it on, uh, from Target actually. Um, I've got in the shade 050 Neutral. Well, we'll see. Let's open up, have a look. It's got a seal here. I've heard really good things about this one. Shade's not too bad. It can't it can match. <laughs> it can. Alright. It's kind of a not so liquid formula. So I wonder over time in a squeezing tube it's gonna separate or not. It feels a little bit of jelly-ish, but I actually quite like this consistency. The, consistent, uh, uh, the consistency reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I remember that one so well because it's my Project Pennings foundation. So I'm using that recently. It definitely comes with a chemical fragrance, but a lovely fragrance. Oh, uh, like at least it's a smell that I like. Smell, a scent. Okay, let's see the coverage. I'm using It Cosmetics Dual Brush. This is in number seven. Using the side just to blend it. I didn't wet a sponge for today, so we'll see how this one goes, if it works. I'm gonna pull my mirror a little bit closer. Looks like light coverage. You can definitely still see my dark circles around the eyes where I have discolorations. On this side, I've got the pimples here. 
So I'm not particularly trying to conceal it, but just to see how it goes. It definitely dries a little bit. It definitely also dries quite quickly because I can feel when I try to blend on this side is not as easily as on the other side. But also because I spend quite a lot of time talking to you or trying to see how I look. The ones on the back of my hand are semi dry now, so I'm gonna need to do more and then quickly buff it into my face just to see if I can build up the coverage as well as the final finish as is matte or satin. I feel like it's gonna be a satin finish. I've got a feeling that it might actually looking a lot better with a sponge because there is some brush marks that I can see from the mirror and it doesn't feel as hydrated as I thought. I mean, it's definitely a light to medium coverage. I wasn't covering on purpose, but this area here, if I do it on purpose, I think I can cover pretty much to a point that I would like on a daily basis without using a separate concealer. So that's pretty good actually. But I just feel like if I used a sponge, the finish might look a lot more naturally washed. I still really like this finish. I mean, for essence, it's actually looking really good. It's not bad. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit closer. I think it's looking pretty good. This is a quite decent coverage. So this foundation claims to give a natural coverage, natural finish, weightless feel, which I think it's been achieving all of these very well so far. It's got 24 hours long lasting hydration with Hyaluron plus aloe vera within. At the moment when I feel like it's almost completely dry, but there is point that I think where I applied a couple more layers, can use a setting powder to set it. The overall finish definitely not glowy, not illuminating. I think it's just a natural satin finish as a suggested. Definitely not a full matte. So if you hate a matte foundation but also want something having a bit of coverage, this is actually not too bad. Um, I kind of like this sort of base. So you can go for matte, you can go for luminous. Depends on what you like with your own preferences. So yeah, let's just keep on going. Um, I'm gonna still try to apply a little bit of a concealer. The one I've got here is the E Cosmetics Bye Bye Eye Under Eye Concealer. I've got one shade tan, one shade medium. I feel like I'm gonna be alright with medium. Maybe just mixing a smidge of tan shades for my under eyes. used it so Eva what is called 142 conceal concealer buffer brush and I've actually mixed the two colors just to cover the inner eyes it's not a full coverage of what I'm going for today I can definitely apply a little bit more but I think it's good for the purpose of today <laughs> yeah I'm not going for a full full coverage um, and I didn't cover anywhere else apart from my inner eyes so I can fully test just the foundation itself because I know how these two concealers Performance that is only the foundation that I'm still testing. Um, yeah, I'll just use a illuminating powder to set my face, particularly around the high point of my face. That's where I want that sort of glow coming through. Um, I'm using an Armani one that I literally just smashed on the floor before I get it. Um, this is a refill that I purchased, so I just got a random compact to hold it so it doesn't so easily fall on the ground. But yeah, I still did it and it smashed pretty badly. Um, I'm gonna use this one. This is the e.l.f. pointed uh, powder brush. So I'll just deep in here. This is a really, really fun um, powder. I really get the hype why this one can be quite expensive. You can see instantly the glow coming from, especially at the high point. Like, it's so pretty. So if you don't hate like doing a highlighter or your you know, on the go, this can definitely work, like nice luminous glow straight away. And it can also help you set the whole finish. I kind of enjoy 
having a multi purpose and it does pretty well of setting your face makeup and also making it lasting a little bit longer it doesn't get eaten by the end of the day so um, before I go ahead I'm gonna quickly do my brows and I'll be back with my brows I'm just gonna use a model called instant brow pencil in the shade medium dark and yeah I'll be back all right I've done my brows it's very bold I always go very bold with my brows and I can't help it um, let's move on to the face I've got this designer brand's all-in-one on the go palette. This is a limited edition autumn haze. I really like their original and so I want to purchase this to give it a go because it looks like all the shades here are very neutral autumn, very of like my color. Um, let's go with the bronzer first. Let's get a brush. This is also a designer brand's brush. I don't think they have a name for this one. It could be a limited edition. I got it um, when I purchased online as a gift. So it's quite powdery actually. I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, it's very pigmented. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Let's. Quickly use the buffing brush and see if that makes a big difference. I forgot to tap off the excess. I think that's what happened. Oh my god. <laughs> it definitely blends as I go. I think I just applied too much, that's all. A very sculpt. Oh god. I'm going to dip in once. Tap, tap. Deep in again, tap tap. And then have a little go. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Still quite, it's just a dark color, I guess, to what I usually like for a contouring blonde bronzing color. Yeah, it's a little bit too intense. Uh, looking a little bit better, maybe. And then they do have this color as a blush. I'll just quickly swatch this one. It's a very natural blush in color though. But I've also got this one, the Essence one. It's a blush highlighter, baked blush lighter in the shade, uh, what is it called? Believe in yourself. So I'll just try to open this. Oh, the sun is going away. So this is what it looks like. Very pink. That's a baked formula. I always have high hope with Essence blush. Uh, this is very pink. Okay, we'll see how we go. I've just turned on some light because I feel like that's really going to diminish as we go. I'll just bring this light up a little bit more. Okay, so mm, based on the clothes I'm having, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go with the designer brands one because it's more subtle. So I'll just grab a brush. Uh, actually, I do have a proper blush brush. This is from Basil, their Disney collection. Mm, everything was Disney, I really do enjoy it. It's looking pretty. So I'm just going to dip in this one. Hopefully it's not as pigmented as the bronzer. And I'll just dab over here. Oh, this is a lot more subtle than I thought. Which is good. I like it. Okay. But it's not giving that sort of pink vibe. It's just making my face look a lot darker. So I might dip into the essence just a little bit. See if that brings that pink vibe I think it did a little bit I don't I don't like the bronzer anyway let's move on the blush is going good even the essence one is giving a little bit sheen there but it, I think I just applied too much of that bronzer okay let's move on to the eyes um, they don't have like a quite subtle shade for the entire lid so I'm thinking just using this uh, blush color because this is a very subtle color. Um, I'm gonna use a 
quite a fluffy brush here. I've got a company over here. <laughs> Hello! I am the company. You are. And the company is bringing another company, <laughs> which is the bed. I'll show you guys. See? <laughs> the company is bringing a company along with her. <laughs> yeah. I just move my things Indeed. out of the way a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just use that blush color. So it goes the entire lid. Definitely not the best, but I think it's workable. And then... I'll try. Are you doing something in the background? I'm feeling your brushes. Okay, cool. So it give a little bit of definition over here. I should zoom you in a little bit more, but I also want to see what she's planning to do in the, at the back. So I'm just going to keep it this way. And I'm <laughs> grabbing another more dense to pack the brush. I don't know where I get this brush from, probably Alibaba. And I'll use this brown color here. Tap off the excess and I'll just put it on the outer corner. I'm gonna have a look see what you're doing when I do the editing part. I think it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> like me watching a video. <laughs> just give a little bit of definition over there. It's pretty pigmented and the performance of the eyeshadows are really good. Like the color are true to themselves and they're easy to blend and yet you still leave all that pigmentation. That's really nice. And you can build up more if you want to. All right, I think this is the best that I can get. Okay, so far I really like the color and I really do like the performance. And we're gonna go with a smaller brush. Do I have another one? I think that's like the smallest this one. This is small. I, yeah, I think that's like the smallest brush you yeah, have. Yeah, I want to use this at the tip of my eyes. But I might what use... About that one? That one? This yeah. one's also very small. This okay, small. I'll use this one to do smudging lines and also just put it in the outer corner. And I'll use the deepest color over here. They're kind of powdery though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no, 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 no. What happened? I think I've got a punched eye on this side. From the last video. Oh yeah. Have you guys seen the video that she did if on If you makeup? haven't, check it out over here or there, wherever it is. Yeah. Or down here. No, I'll put it out. <laughs> and it's also probably going to be in the description. Yes, I'll do that. You can cover your mouth and nose. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh no, no, say it again. <laughs> you can go in your mouth and no, it's up in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna do a highlighting part. I've got two shimmer colors here. They're both very pretty. Demi? Yeah, I like the shimmers. Do you like the shimmers? It's okay. I uh, can I see the yes. others? Um, I like... I like There's another shimmer, this one. I like... Yeah, I like that one. She liked the big one. I mean, <laughs> can you see? Probably not. I don't like the big one. I like the other two eyeshadow ones. So I'm just going to use my fingertips to go on this color to my meat eyelid. color for the inner corner. Can, can, you, can you show everyone what you've been doing with the bear? Putting makeup on him. Yeah. He looks totally the same. We, we were doing this <laughs> and this <laughs> and then turn around around here and I have no idea. <laughs> so I've done my full makeup. Um, I, did I picked up I put color gloss. You picked the color of gloss. So my sister suggests me using the Amco Beauty, what is it called? Peach Bellini lip gloss. I believe it's a limited edition, but I also did top with an Essence one's called Shine and Shine Shine. It's called Shine Shine Shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, this is in one of their 
peach color so it's oh that's how pink up i think you get that juicy color are you okay yeah yeah i quite like this lip combination for my eyes i did try one of my shop mustache product this is the revlon color stay skinny liquid liner i actually <laughs> didn't like this liner it, it made my eyes so cloudy for a second and it wasn't so black black and because it's one of those very soft uh, i believe this is a brush tip i just think it's really hard for me to do that line a little wing line there so i might give it another go and if i still don't like it i'm gonna throw it away yeah yeet it out of the window mascara i've used the um bys and barbie collection waterproof mascara this is a really really good me mascara and my God, me. i don't know how to feel this mascara now um, I did a review of this mascara last year when they first launched this Barbie collection with BYS and I really like it at the time. I even got a back cut for it. I just extend my lashes really well and brush each individual lash prettily. Can you hear she's like talking to herself? It's from an episode from Barbie. I think my, this is from Raquel and Barbie and her friend. I think my outfit is pretty gorge. Raquel, do you mean gorgeous or gorgeous? No, Barbie. I meant gorge. Are you? Did you learn an alphabet in language? That's another character. It's short for gorgeous. I, I, is there a gorgeous, quietly gorgeous, like <laughs> gorgeous? <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel like this is a really, really good foundation for my first impression. I really enjoyed it. And as for the palette. I really do like the eye quad. For the rest, I need to try a little bit more and see if I can light hand it myself next time. So for Essence Blush, I didn't get to use it that much, but I really truly like the formula when I swatch it and when I add that little bit of extra. You're in the background. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Are you trying to be quiet? No, so no, no, it's a corona mask, how many people got A it? corona uh, mask. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And for this primer, I really don't know. I don't think it did much of minimize my pores, but somehow I found maybe this made my pores look a little bit smaller. It's not like blurring, but it looks filled a little bit. So I'm not quite sure. I'm going to give this another go. Um, but yes, I really enjoy this foundation. I think it's really, really good. And that is all for today's first impression. Shop mustache. Get ready with me. Didn't get to chit chat because we have a little company here. Special <laughs> guest. Um, and that is all for today. Yes. I Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't, I'll, I'll steal all of your food. Your I thought steal a McDonald's. Yeah, okay. all of your McDonald's that I like. Okay, you're very picky when you're stealing food. <laughs> very picky. Anyway, that is all for today. I hope you had a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're, we're almost already hitting 30, 30 subs. You're about to hitting 30 subs? Congratulations. Yeah. And goodbye. Bye. Have a great day and keep smiling. Bye.